Good morning everybody, I'm here at Tiverton Hall Farm Fishery today It's the open match, there's about 38 anglers on, both lakes are in So good turnout uh, Next week I've got my Super Cup on here, so I've come for a practice today I've drawn peg 23, which isn't where you want to be to be fair You need to be in bowl up top end in 30s and 40s That's what's been winning matches lately, but you never know, wind's blowing down this way so it might drag a few fish down We'll see what happens and I'll get back to you in a bit. Bye bye. Well, there's my peg. Peg 23. Calm as out. Just don't bomb at minute. Big ones. Six mil pellets. Eight mil pellets. Five corns. Bit of corn. I had no signs yet and nobody else has caught anything that week. See how it goes. Well guys you join me here with my first fish, it was the first bite I had just after eleven o'clock. I started off up method, around about 30 metre, halfway across the lake. I didn't have a bite on that for the first 20 minutes. I've been feeding this short pole line. I've had two, one at 10 o'clock and one at 2 o'clock. I'm feeding one with micros and one with 6 mil pellets and corn. I went up bomb after half an hour. I noticed a few fish around about 20, 25 metres. So I pinged a few 8 mil pellets, took bomb over there. And still no signs. I had one liner, I think. And uh, like I said, the first part I had was that bream that I've just caught, which was about three to four pound. I could bream in here, but the depth, it's only, only got about two and a half foot, top two and two, and my 13 meter line. So roughly the same float can do all three lines, to be honest. Another bite, this time it felt a bit smaller on the micro line where I've been feeding short. This time it was one of the uh, probably 7 8 ounce little stockies that we put in. It was just nice to get a couple of bites one after the other. Back to feeding that line with my crows, then automatically go straight over to my other line where I've been feeding uh, corn and uh, six mil pellets. I've got a piece of corn on. You see how that line went. No signs on that line, so I jumped straight back onto my line that I'll feed it my crows with. There you go, bite fish on. Another bream. There are some lovely sized bream in here. It's just getting a constant flow on them. You find that at that depth, once you hit a fish, it will spill out on the fish around it, so you're having to constantly top your bait up, wait for them to come back, get another bite, keep switching lines and trying to keep picking odd fish up, but it, it just didn't happen for me all day, I had a little spell, in this hour where I caught a few fish, and that were about it.
Come on, the fishies. Back our top method feeder. See if I can get a bite on that. Going on to my corn line again. Bite, fish on, jumping fish, skimmer. Another bream. That's all I can seem to catch on these short lines. No carp showing. This end at Lake. I know the guy on the end peg, far corner to my left, 18, been catching. Mr. Steve M. Peg Robbo, but he's just awesome on that venue anyway. I bet he'd had a few carp. Nobody around me had any carp at this point. Racking Throughout the day I just kept topping them short lines up because that's the only place I could get a bite. This resulted on the right hand one, I was feeding micros. I'm looking to my first carp. And it proved to be my only carp of the day. This was caught on the uh, corn. Still on that short line on the right with micros. That's where I've had most of my fish. I've only produced one fish from the left at 10 o'clock. All the fish I've caught, I've caught on this right hand line. I've been feeding micros. It's been very hard to bite fish on. Again, another bream. Just could not get them carp feeding. Tried 13 metre, just feeding 6 mils, they banded 6 mil on. I think I had one bite on that, and had nothing up feeding, not a sign up bomb. Kept rotating all my lines, feeding. I know the guy in peg 18, bottom left hand corner to my left, it caught really well. But everybody around me roughly caught about the same as me. A lot of bream, the guy to my left, the next peg behind that bush, he'd had about five or six bream, I think one carp.
guys, end it match. We've had four big breeds. section with that. Good evening guys, it's now Wednesday 6. Uh, just to recap on the match that I fished on third from this video. What did I learn? I don't think I learned much really to be honest. And the guys opposite me hardly caught anything. I think they had one carp each. Weighed seven and nine pounds so I didn't really learn much from watching them. It's all about learning and seeing what other people did today but I just didn't learn much so we're uh, taking that into Sunday it's all about the draw from the match results which I'll just get up and read out to you now first we're peg 47 like I said before match you needed to be in 30s and 40s 47 is actually on other lake which is at the bottom just down from where I, the lake I run uh, second was the guy to my left on the MPEG, Steve MPEG Robbo. The name gives him a good draw, do not it? Because he's always on an MPEG blessing. But he fished a tidy match, catching on 6 mil pellets, bringing at 13 metre. Uh, sections was. Have a look. Well, third was Nigel Shipman on peg 32, again in that bowl. And your sections was Andy Gaunt. Peg 42 again in the bowl and Paul Slack who is actually my opponent on Sunday he drawn peg 44 in the bowl so it's all about the draw I'm afraid on Sunday let's just hope a draw in that bowl for the Super Cup match and I'll let you all know how I get on with that because I'll be videoing it like I did my last Super Cup match at Aston and tomorrow night I'm fishing the evening match at Aston on butts so I'm going to do a bit of pace fishing just only going to go and fish pace short might start long on pellets just till I get them feeding on that pace line and hopefully catch a few on pace tomorrow night don't forget guys please like and subscribe and I'll catch you all later bye bye